Hello! I forgot to shoot the video, the last cycle. So here it is. I'm gonna make this into a two-parter. I'm gonna cut my plants down. Uh, the temperature is uh, below 10 degrees Celsius in the n on, during the nights every day, and I'm uh, having to keep uh, all the windows closed and the the flap closed as well, uh, just to get some temp up in here. Uh, this is my scissors. I'm gonna use. So let's start over here. <laughs> the Datura. Uh, it's been flowering like crazy. Such a lovely flower. So here's a demon red. Let's do all the demon reds at once. It seems to get this size of pods and my demon red that uh, I already picked once is getting some ripe ones um, and this demon red is kind of different it grows very long pods and this demon red does it have any pods yet? Yeah, here's one, but... Yeah, it's just very slow, this one. So let's go back over here. The no jigsaw is giving me pods. Let's see what else is going on in here. Peruvian white. And um, this is uh, Adji Armarillo. It's giving me lots and lots of pods. And lots of them further down. This is space number eight, which has huge flowers. Look at the size of this one. Absolutely huge. My red habanero. It's from here all the way over here. This is all the red habanero, and as you can see, it has a healthy amount of growth on the other side as well, and it's just covered with pods. Oops. <laughs> so, this is. The final growth of my red habanero this summer before I cut it down. Let's look at the roots. The water is red because I added um, iron to the uh, to the nutrient mix. I have some deficient plants of that. This is the uh, apache. And uh, this is the other phenotype of demon red I have. Uh, one got sick, remember, and I threw it away. And he has pods. He has a small ripe pod here somewhere. Let's see if we can find it. Yeah, there it is. Look at that. Nah, it's not going to focus. Yeah, and um, let's see if we can get a shot of this. Seven pot yellow starting to ripe up. 
I've already picked two of them. There's two more. Nice, nice, nice. Here's Blondie. It doesn't show up good on the camera, but there's some like pink streaks. And that's when you know they're uh, mature. When they develop these pink streaks and this golden color. It's gonna be nice tasting those. So, in here, Hungarian hot wax. Starting to change. Here's another chocolate habanero plant I have. And in the middle of it is the seven foot yellow. It stretches all the way here. Here's more of it. Here's more of it. Here's some more pods. Let's see this Pablano. It's not doing much. This window is open. And this is Aji Finlandia white. All the Aji Finlandias are very stretchy like this. It just shoots off. Very, very stretchy. <laughs> so let's turn around. I have tomatoes. Oh, that's like eating honey. No. My pita peppers, the other phenotype. Um, not much. Pin is like. And let's see. Uh, uh, let's look at the other penis pepper. I think this is it. Yeah, this is it. Let's go back here. The cherry roxa. It's doing well. It's a little bit cramped in here. Orange Tabasco starting to ripe up. And the other phenotype here turned out to be another phenotype of orange tabasco. A lighter one. You can clearly see the difference in these two plants, right? Look at those two twigs. They're very different. Um five eight five two six one right fruits they taste delicious and many more to be ripe moving on oh um this is a naga morridge i think morish finally bearing some pods it's not a big plant but finally bearing me some fruit i don't know what this is Looks hot. Space 10. It has a ripe one, right? Uh, in here is space number one, anyway. Huge pods. And many of them. And here is a seven pot yellow. With many pods. And a tomato. And here is Trinidad mild seasoning. And behind it is hiding a cayenne long slim. And apparently some kind of insects. I hope that 
wasn't too noisy for anyone. I forgot it was running. Let's see what else is here. Yeah, a um, Hungarian hot wax with a few pods on it. Well, I'm getting wet from being in here. Uh, Espelet, Espet, many pods ripe. I think this is another 7 pot OS uh, SR Giga. And this is the cap 2220. Let's see, didn't I have a right one? No, I picked that one. Yeah. So that's what's going on in there. Naga Viper. <laughs> nom, nom, nom. And behind it, you have the space number four with pods galore. <laughs> None of them ripe yet, though. Yeah, this is my temp. Oh, I got shit on the lens. And here is the Aji Finlandia Orange. These pods look like looks more like the ones I got the seeds from. I don't know what's going on with this. I don't know what this is. Is that pot with this pot? I don't have a mark on this, but I guess it's in uh, seven pot as well. So well, yeah. Um, see you in a little bit when I have cut this down. Whoosh. So I'm just standing here cutting, and it kind of started to rain. A bit. Come this far, still lots to cut. Very lots to cut. This is my little pile. I will see you when. It's and we're back. It's about 24 hours later. <laughs> I got sick of it yesterday, uh, so I continued today. And now I'm kind of done because I'm kind of sick of it. This is how much I've built up today. And there is the pile from yesterday. And kind of been raining today. So let's take a tour. This spot I think is hot banana. I got one almost ripe in here. I didn't show yesterday. Serrano peppers. Hot bananas and snail poop. <laughs> and I don't know what this is, but I guess it's a TMS yellow or something. I think this is a TMS yellow as well. It has quite pods, quite the many pods. This Adi Finlandia orange, and I don't know what this is. This demon red had lots of pods. Let's look at the other demon reds. You can see this has kind of lots of pods. Tabasco. Adi Almarillo. Oops, you can see some pods now. A 
Peruvian white. <laughs> this is what happens when you forget to remove the Ziploc. About nothing happens. Let's continue on. Chocolate habaneros. Very varying size on those. And here are a few ripe ones. Seven pots, yellow. <laughs> That's a tremendous, tremendous amount of pots. Tremendous. Uh, Demon Red also had lots and lots and lots and lots of pods. This chocolate habanero hid lots and lots of pods as well. Let's see uh, the cherry oroxa. It had quite a lot of pods as well. And this is interesting. Lots of places like this, some uh, some organic material has been uh, just left there, and then it is rotten, rotted. The P1585261. Woo, I got it right. I could cut this. I'm gonna cut more of this. I'm gonna cut more on all of them during the next couple of days. Because it, it takes so long to do. Seven pots. Clean bud, mild seasoning. Cap 220, and I can see something yellow down there. That has to be a uh, Aji Limon. Oops, <laughs> I kind of destroyed this plate walking around here. <laughs> uh, the Naga Viper, it has a few pots. Still Naga Viper. <laughs> if all those ripe, the powder mix I'm gonna make is gonna be so strong. This is uh, seven pot yellows. Let's see what's hiding behind here. I don't even know what this plant is, but it looks hot. Yeah, and that's it. Uh, I'll buy, be back in a little while after I've picked. Uh, see you then. And I'm back. <coughs> Everything is picked, just unripe left. Here's the result. That's Serrano, orange, Tabasco, demon red, hot banana, and unripe TMS yellow, I think. Chocolate habanero, seven pot yellow, isolated seven pot yellows, red habanero. Blondie, isolated, blondie, this one, and this one isolated, unisolated. P1, no, PI585261, yeah. Espelette, Agilimo. So if anything made you smile or laugh, like uh, Big Steve from England says, uh, why don't you subscribe, or give me a like, or comment. Have a nice one.